We're here in Greenwich to go to the Royal Observatory, home to the Prime Meridian, to discuss a very, very special competition, the Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. We're going to be speaking with one of the judges uh, to get uh, his top tips on what makes an astrophotograph truly award-winning. Well, I'm Ed Bloomer, I'm one of the astronomers that works here at the observatory. I do lots of different things, um, we've got public programmes, we've got uh, formal learning programmes, but one of the things that I really like doing and I get to do is I'm also one of the judges of the Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. That is very exciting. So this is the world's best astrophotography competition. We've been running it for years now at the observatory and every year, I, I mean, it, it's pretty good, right? Thousands of people send us the best photography in the world. Uh, and we get to judge it and we get to choose which ones are the, the best, basically. I'm not going to lie, uh, it is a competition that is very close to my heart. I absolutely love it uh, and I think it is fantastic that uh, so many people from so many countries uh, get to be involved. If you were to give some uh, top tips on uh, either how to get uh, a great uh, astronomy picture or how to impress the judges, uh, what would you say? Well, uh, we have a number of judges for precisely this reason, because everybody's got different uh, biases or different interests. Um, I think one thing, I mean, technical quality, absolutely a very important part, the sort of the clarity of the image, the colour of the image, but also choosing your colours, uh, choosing the colour scheme that you decide to use if you're doing deep space photography. Uh, one thing I think is really important and maybe a little um, uh, maybe people don't sometimes think about it too much, maybe until the last minute, is the framing of the picture. You, you know, it's, it's, it's also an arts competition as well. The aesthetics of it are very important. So making sure your picture's framed correctly, that the colours are sort of harmonious and, and, and beautiful to look like, is, I, I think, just as important as the technical quality. Thank you very much. There are so many different categories. Uh, we go from uh, skyscapes uh, to aurora to uh, galaxies. Uh, are you partial to any of those categories? Is there one that you're just like, uh, oh, I can never decide between them because they're all so brilliant or so beautiful? It is very difficult to, to choose. I've got a soft spot for different aspects of all of them. I'll be, I'll be honest, I know that's, that sounds like an excuse, but I, th but I think it is true. I, one thing I really like are solar uh, pictures, mm -hmm. pictures of the sun, because it's a very different sort of thing, usually in, Astrophotography, you're trying to um, do long exposures because your object might be very faint or, or, or hard to capture. Whereas the sun, it's a sort of the opposite problem. There's too much light and you're trying to strip everything back down again. So I think that's an interesting reversal. And I also like the Annie Monder Prize for image innovation. This is where we have open source data. Anyone can access it. The idea is that people process it themselves. And that's uh, sort of growing that part of the competition. And I'm really excited to see what people do about it because they, they really have sort of free reign to do whatever they want with this data. And there you have it. Top tips to get an award-winning photograph of the heavens. And to misquote Oscar Wilde, we're all in the gutters, but some of us are taking great pictures of the stars.